I've been having these dreams familiar spirits all the time all the time oh, oh. 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 and I couldn't understand what is happening and pop until Papa reveal it pray against familiar spirits they try everything they try everything they sent every single family member of mine that passed away they were sent in my dream they were sent in my dream to trap me they will lead me to the to, to a graveyard next to the graveyard but then there was this always someone that come when I reaches by the graveyard there's always someone that come it always take me away from the graveyard they show me not this way in this dead way and then I wake up and I don't even know what to say they try everything until I have this dream about this huge snake about this huge snake I saw in the dream and just after I saw that huge snake in the dream oh, 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 Thursday night after the conference when we go home the snake is, is it come into my room but you, I don't see him physically I see him like, he's like sp in the spirit he will move around me all around me I will, I will lie in my bed. He will move all around me. I can feel his presence all around me, and he will put his 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 his, his face will be here in in my like in my face, like you your breathing of of the snake, you know. And he will breathe at me like huge, and then, and then I I just close my mouth. I just lying there. And, 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 and I don't know what make me Thursday night after the conference when he breathed me I just breathed back at him and after that force come out of my mouth back at him he just disappeared and, 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 and he didn't come back for that night again and, and last night after I go home again I, I go home again I feel his presence in the room again and I start praying and I start praying and then when I go to bed, he come again. He come, he come, he come, he come. He don't want to, he come, he come. Like a force this time, he come, he come. He, everything he try, he don't get it right. He don't get it right. And I just uh, fell asleep. And then all of a sudden, it's like something wake me up. It's like a heavy feeling on my chest. Like a sore feeling on my chest, and I realized that he, he, what he wanted to do, he didn't get it right. Now, when I fall asleep, he entered my private part. He entered up in my private part, and I can feel him sitting here, like his head is here, but my chest. Oh, oh, and he, he leave his venom inside of me. Oh, and I don't know what make him go away. And you know, just after I feel that snake and after he leave that venom inside of me, I lie. I, my eyes is open. You know, my, uh, uh, my light in the room, but my eyes is open, but I just saw this huge bright light inside my room, white bright bright light very very bright bright white i never saw bright white light like that inside my room and my eyes is open and i'm just looking at this light and i'm just looking at this light and this and it's like this like someone is putting immortality dead impossible in my mind and i just think Clear the whole night last night immortality dead impossible that bright light come two times into my my sight last night my eyes is open but i see it two times with my eyes open i saw this bright white light very very bright i never saw bright like that before 
and 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 just put like immortality come into my mind as immortality death impossible immortality death impossible and i just and just i fell asleep and i wake up this morning you know i was scared even to sleep last night but because of that bright like that bright light it was telling me don't i mustn't be afraid i mustn't be afraid because i have immortality death impossible and i just fall asleep and i just fall asleep and this morning when i wake up i realize that i'm still alive i'm still alive and i come to church this morning as a lady a snake came to you in the night and turned to a man and slept with you Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You married to a snake. You married to a snake for a long time. And you're going to be free. Networking with all the people connected to it. Bring her quickly. You can't let this lady. No. Bring her quickly. morning and over when I start taking shower I start like spitting out some things out of my mouth come out of my mouth and when I come to church this morning when I start worshiping some white some something some spit spit I don't know is it the venom of the snake is coming out of my mouth this morning when I worship the Lord and I thank the Lord for my life you know? They've been trying to take my life so many times. <laughs> but the Lord always pulled me through. He showed the enemy that I will not die. That I will not die. That I am serving a loving God. I'm serving a loving God. <laughs> you know what Papa teaching us is true. What Papa Ji is teaching us, we must take note of it. We must take note because the things is happening. I'm experiencing it. I'm experiencing it. I'm experiencing it. You know, sometimes I will be crying. My children don't know my husband, don't know what I'm going through. <laughs> then, I would just, then I would just isolate myself from them. And I would just pray and thank the Lord. Sometimes they look at me, my husband look at me like I, I am not normal. 
When I start roaring in my house, I know when the spirit of death is in my house. I know when something is not right in my house. I know when the spirit is there to come steal, kill, and destroy. But because of all Papa's teachings, because all of Papa is teaching us, impacting us, training us for all these things that is happening to us. Oh... <laughs> Training us for all these things that is happening to us. Oh, I'm so grateful to God for sending Papa our way. You know, if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for God sending Papa, I don't know where would I be today. Where would I be today? <laughs> because we are nothing without Yeshua the Christ. We are nothing without Yeshua the Christ. He is the pillar that holds our lives. <laughs> he is the pillar that holds our lives. He showed the enemy that he is alive in us and that we are serving a loving God. We are serving a loving God. You know, sometimes it looks like God is not there. But you know, if, if I wake up this morning and I realize that he is there, that he is by my side. Because if he was not by my side, I by now I was not supposed to be here this morning. Morning. I was not supposed to be here this morning. Oh, but I know I realized this was that God is on my side. He is by my side every step of the way. Yeah. I say thank you. I give him all the praise. I give him all the glory. Because all the praises belongs to him. If you count your blessings one by one and you see what the Lord has done. He preserved my life. He restored my health. You know, sometimes I'm... I'm scared for my for my daughter because she's sleeping by my side. <laughs> so when I pray, say, Lord, don't let this darkness touch my daughter my, and my son. Sometimes I say, don't let this darkness, don't let this snake touch my daughter. <laughs> and I pray the blood of Jesus Christ over my children. <laughs> I thank Yeshua the Christ. I thank Him. <laughs> I thank Him so much for my life, for my health, for the lives of my children, for the health of my children and my husband, my family members. You know, since I've come to this church, we haven't experienced any death in our family for a long time now, more than three years now. Dead, no dead for more than three years now. Oh, but before I did not know this place. It's like every December there's a certain time every year. You take them one by one, one by one. And all will go with the same issue. With the stomach in, the stomach in, the stomach in. <laughs> I hate cancer. I hate cancer. And I will send it back where it belongs. <laughs> oh, I thank Yeshua the Christ. I thank Him for the life of my children. For my life, I thank Him because if I was not by His side, if I was not with Yeshua the Christ, I would not be in here this morning. And I want to thank Yeshua the Christ. I want to thank Him because I know He gave me a touch last night in my room. Is that why the venom of that snake did not prevail? <laughs> Oh, I want to say thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Yeshua the Christ. Thank you, Jesus the Christ. 
Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Mama, for standing in the gap for us and our families. Oh, Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you for sending them our way. Oh, Papa, it's a great gift to us. It's a great gift to us. I wish the people in Cape Town's eyes can open. I wish the eyes can open and come to this place. Oh, because we need God at a time like this. darkness. You know, it is only with God that you can defend yourself in darkness. Oh, if you don't have God by your side, you will not pull through darkness that I can see now since I'm here. Ooh, I want to thank Yeshua the Christ. Thank you, Jesus the Christ. Thank you, Yeshua the Christ, for everything that you're teaching, Papa, to teach us. <laughs>